All right, Bobby here with two epic EVs, or is it three epic EVs? Doesn't matter. Uh, hey, we got the Rivian here and the Model Y 4680 battery. We're just uh, got them plugged in and uh, doing its thing. Um, we're getting ready to take off in the EV9, and we're gonna go to a magic dock today and go from there. So anyway, should be a fun little experiment today. We're inside the EV9 and uh, I have 44% state of charge and uh, it says 96 miles left. So if I want to push, if I push this button, little charge button here, it'll say, you know, it'll show me chargers that are in town. We have a Tesla magic dock right up the road here and nothing. There is my wifey taking out the garbage. <laughs> Oops, she asked me to do that. Yep, she was uh, not happy. Uh, she asked me like three times to take out the garbage. Anyway, go to battery and the battery condition is low. I'm just going to go ahead and manually activate it. If you look right in here, look, it says it's warming up. So that's really cool. Anyway, heading over to the magic dock. We'll see you soon. Okay, we're back here, and uh, now the battery condition is suitable. It's really nice you can activate this. I am going to uh, go to go to the spot here. Looks like we got a Rivian R1S and a Model 3 charging up. I'm gonna go ahead and back in and use the Magic Dock here. We're at the Magic Dock, I just activated it. And I went through this, uh, how to activate the charger in another video. I'm going to go ahead and plug in and uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to go inside and check out the handshake on it and uh, go from there. Some nice motorcycles going by over there. Let me see what kind of speeds we're getting right off the bat here. Looks like, uh, well, it says it's ramping up here, 24 and I'm at 37%. So we'll see kind of what it does here. One thing I've noticed, the couple of times I've DC charged this, it does a slow ramp up every single time. Um, so it's good to see here. All right, so we're holding at 85 kilowatts. So a little update. One, I really need to clean my screen, get like a screen cloth or something. Uh, one day of, two days of ownership. Uh, fingerprints all over anyway uh 65 percent i've been holding 85 kilowatts since the minute i plugged in at 39 percent um so this is where i'm at i'm gonna keep going i want to see right where it falls off so okay we're at uh 75 percent we've been charging for 36 minutes we hooked in i believe at 38 percent um still holding 85 So a little update here, at 83%, it jumped down to five and four. Um, so we're gonna just watch this. This is kind of interesting of what happening here. Okay, so it was like a little blip went down. Now it's climbing back up. It took like a minute and a half or maybe two minutes it went down. Let's see what it stops here. I would assume 85 again. Yep, stopped at 85. So, uh, yeah, just did like a little blip. And, uh, you know, glad I could document that. And uh, we'll kind of see where it goes and where it starts tapering off. I'll, uh, I'll check back in when I know more. Okay, right at 85. It actually was at 85 for a bit. It tapered down from 85 kilowatts down to looks like 64 it's going to settle here so it's going to settle at 64 right at 85 percent high 85 is actually was on 85 for a bit and then it, then it went down so now we're at 64 kilowatts 
I'm seeing where it's gonna pull down, I would assume at 90, the next uh, tier. So we'll, we'll check that out as it comes. Okay, walking down a little more, it's at 86. Just walked down to 59. So now it's at 87. So we'll see what it does here. Um, oh, 58. Let's see what happens here. See if it walks down. 57. Just keep an eye on this here. Okay, we're at 90% and it's sitting at 48 kilowatts. Um, I was just going to see if this starts pulling down. Um, pretty interesting what it goes here. Oh, there's 47, 48. Okay, it's bouncing around and uh, we'll kind of go from there. We are at 95% uh, and right when it got 95% it was at 30 kilowatts. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing. I'm thinking about stopping the test. There's really no point, you get the idea, but I kind of wonder if I should go all the way with this. Okay, so some thoughts here. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. There's really no point in keep going. Um, it's just slowly walking down. We got a 24 kilowatts now, which is pretty slow. It kind of makes me worried about the future on opening up the Tesla, um, you know, infrastructure to others. Like, is this what you're gonna get? Well, it is a solution. It is, but it's not the fastest solution, so. Um, all right, well, thanks for being with me and 